I'm going to talk about the things that are most commonly missed with estimating and how to pick them up very, very quickly. As you can see, this model is detailed. It has everything that's required in there to build it. But I'm going to click the estimate button or takeoff button here and I'm going to generate my takeoff. And this button is the first button you should click when you're at your estimating stage and you want to associate price. Basically, if I turn, click that button, what it does, it says unestimated items. And you watch what happens when I actually click this, you can see unestimated items are now showing up. And I can see that I've missed my cut and fill with my block and the rest of it's furniture. So furniture would be because of the client and a couple of them are section cuts, so I get that and they're not necessary. However, the cut and fill uh, is missing there. And just quickly, I'll, I'll just quickly jump on this, is that if you guys use hide rest of model, you can now isolate items and you can see here that I've got cut and I've got fill. If I go up to my uh, special estimating tool here and I search for cubic and I put in, I'm just going to type in fill, you'll notice that I now have cut site uh, fill, contaminated soil fill, non-contaminated soil fill. Now these are inside of site preparation, right? You can create your own by simply selecting one and then go create similar product and type in whatever you is, what it is you call things. However, I'm going to actually use contaminated soil uh, and fill here because this project actually has that. And I'm going to associate the product to the entity. Therefore, I can now see that this area is contaminated. That means we have to get away, get rid of it and put a price and you'll see that in a second. And this area here is going to be, I need to import uh, uh, soil. So I need, uh, let's have a look and see if I can go soil, search, import compactable soil, right? I'm gonna apply it to that entity, right? Now I can see that I've actually got those there. And if I went right click take off selection only, I'll just have these items here. Site set up, import compactable fill. And if I wanted to add a price, I could say how much they charge me to import compactable fill. I can also associate uh, machinery and compactors and all of those new things by adding, uh, you know, what might say compact fill. Right. And I'm going to assign this to the compactable fill and save the changes. Therefore, whenever I use that uh, recipe, it will enable me to automatically have my price in and I'm going to say what do they charge per cubic meter to input per, 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 per cubic yard, whatever it might be. It's $15. Mm -hmm. I can associate my vendor and I can basically go from there. Right? Those pop-ups are just asking me would I like to associate this with similar items and the answer is no. Right? And therefore, you can see it's $2,800 to compact that fill and the price to import the fill is $15 a cubic meter. Therefore, if I go back, you will now notice that I have a zero here, and I'm gonna explain that for you in a second, and I have a price there. Uh, and if I go back, well, you'll notice actually, here, something that you guys always miss, I think, uh, is if, let's just say we go to our framing, and you'll notice I have a number one here. That means that there's one item that doesn't have a price associated with it, and I have two items in my post group there. If I go edit, see more, I can now go through and look for orange, and I can see that I haven't got two for a price in there for uh, my 240 by 70, which is 10 by three uh, in Imperial. All right, so then I'll, I'll go and look up the price, obviously, and, and I'd add that in. Now, I'm pretty sure that, that cost me around about $42 a meter, right? When I go back now, you'll notice that I now don't have, well, I don't have an integer, an integer or a number associated with it. And I would go through those things. These are important when you're estimating, guys. So the model itself has a lot of detail, right? It has cranes and everything. Now you might be thinking, how much did I allow for the crane? If you go right-click takeoff selection only, you can now just see what's been allowed for here, or you can just type up here and go crane and search. These are just common things that make it very easy. You can see I've got a three hour minimum at 18.50. Is that my price? I can quickly double check it and away I go. The biggest problem with estimating isn't quantifying, it's actually what you miss. Uh, and being able to see what you're estimating is very important uh, and it enables you to uh, go back and make sure that you've allowed enough on the job to ensure that you're not losing money. 
You can also put in preliminary uh, figures and so on. So for instance, if you're quoting your job, it's very early and you might allow say $50,000 for bathrooms and kitchens. You can do that very, very quickly as well by simply clicking take off and then going in and adding in fixed price items. Uh, so let's, so we've got stairs here. You can see that it's actually got, I'm gonna remove that just so you can see. For my stairs on this particular job, I just use the last price that I actually got for similar stairs. Now, what I, you'll actually notice if I look here, I actually put 33 cents and I always type in 33 cents every time I, uh, it's, a, it's a, an estimated price. Therefore, if I go through and look for 33 cents in my prices, I can go through and change things accordingly. And now if I wanted to add a real price and I got my real price, I would say, let's just say it's $4,444. Can add in my vendor uh, and go back, right? And then you'll notice that now it's that plus my margin, right? Hope it helps out guys. If you've got any questions, ask them below. It's really important you pick up everything on every job, all right? Cheers.